Jake never seemed to have a plan, and that always worried me growing up. And then he introduced me to Abby, and at first I thought, well, Jake's going to screw this up, because <laughs> we all know Jake's hard-headed, stubborn, and doesn't listen. One night we were hanging out, and uh, Jake was being dumb, per usual. Well, Abby comes up and said, Jake, knock it off. You're being an idiot, in not so few words. My first thought was, well, Abby, it was good knowing you. And then I saw something happen that I've never seen in my life, and that was Jake stopped being dumb. Right then I knew, no matter what happens, we have to protect her. We have to keep her around and make sure Jake does not screw this up. We don't have to try In the end we'll be alright You make it all easy A life on the brighter side No matter what we do I know we'll make it Got me and I got you. I know you like the back of my hand. There's no one in the world that can give me like you can. Go from time to time, it seems nothing goes to plan. I won't wait. Loving you is second nature. call that I've ever received from them was at five o'clock in the morning and it was FaceTime and I open it up and there's Ryland's precious face but when I saw Jake and Abby and the look in their eyes I thought they'll never be the same the love that they have for that little girl matches the love that they have for another we lose track of time Exceed the speed of light You see through me And there's nothing there to hide I know you like the back of my hand There's no one in the world that can give We are gathered here today to celebrate this union of Abby and Jake. The gift of marriage is a beautiful miracle. With this opportunity, we can celebrate the love for each other. Abby, my love, most including yourself, would say I'm not the most romantic type, but bear with me. As I sat for what felt like hours staring at a blank piece of paper, trying to put feelings into words, I realized I didn't fall in love at all. It was like walking into a house and feeling like you're home. I knew from the third or fourth time that you made me ask you to marry me, you were gonna be the one to annoy and to challenge me for the rest of my life. The one to yell at me not to take the last shot, but also the one to stand beside me after I do it anyways. I was once told love just doesn't happen, it's a choice. A choice you make so effortless for me. Why the hell you choose to love me, I contemplate every day. As I stand here with you today, I make you these promises. I promise to always show our baby girl how a man should love, respect, care for, and treat a woman. I promise to always keep you guessing and asking yourself why. I promise to never keep score even though I'm winning. I promise to keep the mower fixed so you can continue to break it. Most importantly, I promise to always love you like a fat kid loves cake and to always cherish you like the last beer in the case. 
Jake, back in 2011, I met this railroader one night in Ryan, Ryan Collingwood's garage. He always wore bibs and thought he was hot shit. Secretly, I loved everything about it, but we were stubborn and young. I remember sitting in the bathroom with my mom telling her about this railroader I had met. Although we were both too stubborn then, I'm thankful that our paths intertwined again. Jake, time together has flown by, but yet it feels like yesterday that we were going on our first date for the third time. For some reason, it took us three times to realize we weren't, weren't getting rid of one another. Jake, I'm thankful that you are my friend, my partner, and my co-pilot in this life that we have mapped out together for Ryland. I love that you are always willing to drop everything to help a friend, even though it pisses me off. But most importantly, I love that you are the best father to our daughter. Jake, I promise that I will always love you through sickness and health. I promise to be more patient, even though I struggle with that. I promise to be faithful and loyal to you. I promise in this life to be your co-pilot, your navigator, and to bring snacks now that we aren't on this wedding diet. <laughs> Jake, most importantly, although you are always trying to spend our money, I promise to love you with all my heart and to live our lives to the fullest. Power invested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. Come on! You may kiss the bride. Now I present Mr. and Mrs. Bain. Loving you is sick. 